What is cancer? The deadly disease that affects the lives of millions of people around the world each year. And why do some people get it and others not? The simplest way to think of cancer is that sometimes one of our trillions of cells starts to grow out of control and refuses to die. But let's take one step back and look at how cells grow out of control in the first place. As we grow, our body needs to make new cells. And as cells get old or damaged, they die and need to be replaced. That helps to keep us healthy. Cells contain the instructions for making copies of themselves. These instructions are stored in a code called the genome, made of a chemical called DNA. With all that DNA to copy, cells are bound to make the occasional spelling mistake. We call these mistakes mutations. Sometimes, those mutations change the meaning of a cell's instruction book, causing it to grow out of control. This out of control cell then divides and makes millions of copies of itself. It can grow to form a tumour. This is what we call cancer. Cancer cells can also spread to other parts of our body where they wouldn't normally be found. This can cause important organs to stop doing their job and make us unwell. So that's how we get cancer. But why do some people get cancer and some not? Is it simply a case of bad luck? Different scientists have different perspectives on this question, but it seems to come down to a combination of bad luck and various environmental exposures and lifestyle choices. Things like sun exposure, smoking tobacco, drinking alcohol, eating lots of certain foods, and even some viruses can increase our chances of getting mutations in our DNA. Some estimates say that as many as one in three cancer cases can be prevented, but unfortunately, it's at least partly down to bad luck. So you can reduce your chance of cancer by making healthy, sensible lifestyle decisions. But it's not possible to completely prevent it. I've worked on this problem for many years, and to be honest, it still blows my mind to really think about just how complex it is. Cancer is one of the greatest health challenges of our time. There is so much more to do to advance the prevention, treatment and cure of this deadly disease. 